<laughs> We're doing a uh, vegan grocery haul today. I went to, let me see. Uh, whoop. <laughs> hey y'all, uh, Michelle Davenport here with Simple Living. I did a vegan grocery haul for you today. I went to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and I wanna share what I bought and how I might use some of these things. So if there's something you might be interested, stay tuned because I am fixing to do it. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet or hit the like button and the bell, go ahead and do that. That way you know when I upload videos and it just helps me out a lot. All right, thank you. And let's get to the grocery haul. Okay, we're gonna start with Trader Joe's because I didn't get as much as I normally do. But I did get this oat milk, which we love. This is our favorite oat milk. I know Oakley is the brand that everybody loves, but actually Trader Joe's carries a great one, and that one's it. I've tried all of them so far. And these black bean corn enchiladas. They're froze in the frozen department at um, Trader Joe's, and I'm telling you what, y'all, for a quick and easy lunch, um, on the go or if you're gonna go like when I go to my daughter's or something this is something I can just grab and take and don't expect her to cook me something vegan I already have it I just bring it with me um, again it's just something easy to do for lunch or on the go <clears throat> all right I also got this avocado these are little individual um, cups uh, it's just perfectly measured too, so uh, you don't have to worry about overeating. Although avocado fat is good for you, um, anything you overdo is not good for you. <laughs> so I love avocados, one of my go-to. And I will actually put some of this avocado, um, it's not a dip, it's just, you know, I don't know. It's avocado on the go, <laughs> guacamole on the go. <laughs> That's what it is. I top my enchilada when they come out of the oven with a one container of that guacamole on top of my enchiladas with a little bit of cilantro and red onions and vegan sour cream. I'll show you what brand I use when we go to the Whole Foods to, um, part of this video. Anyway, that's good. I wanted to try these fall chips just because they were festive and they've got flaxseed in them. I just read the back, it's very good. Just a lot of good ingredients. It's vegetable, flaxseed, corn, tortilla chips. Also, you really can't beat the price for organic uh, bell peppers. I love the trio here. I think there's, I think there's four dollars, four forty-nine. But um, I just love them. They're always good. They're always fresh. Also, we love the trail mix. This is my husband's favorite. I always get him two because I don't know if you've noticed, um, but I shop for two weeks at a time, except for stuff that you would run out of normally. I'll go back and get. And that's my favorite. I'm telling you what, you know, the the pineapple the dried pineapple in here oh my gosh <laughs> so delicious and I like to use fresh garlic but I find myself many times reaching for this so I bought another little container of the minced garlic it's pretty good nothing beats fresh but this this works especially if I'm in a hurry and I don't feel like chopping or grating uh, fresh garlic okay this is the last thing from Trader Joe's I did save the best for last Oh my goodness, I'm gonna tell you what, there's two to a pack, you take them out, they're individually wrapped, you put them on a little plate, you wait like, I don't know, two or three minutes, you pop them out of their little container, put them in your ice box, and two hours later, they are so delicious. I've had them on their own with just a little whipped cream, uh, vegan cocoa whip, or they have silk heavy whip now out, and you can make your own, and that's equally delicious, it's just not as firm, but it's really good. Um, my video, my uh, banana wafer pudding video, I'll put it somewhere up in the corner on this video. I use that whipped cream and it's so good. But also, I found a trick because we used to buy, I forget what brand it was, Eddie's or um, Key Lime Pie. And what, but when I came, became vegan, no more. So, this is so good. I make a vegan lemon curd, and if you want the recipe, let me know and I'll do a video. I put lemon vegan curd on top of this with blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, all three. I'll use one, one or the other. 
I mean, it is just, it is the most delicious key lime pie I've had since turning vegan. So that is a go-to. And I believe they're under four bucks. I think they're 349 too. Also for two of them. I always stock up. I've got like six of them already. <laughs> I'm a hoarder of cheesecake. Okay, let's move on to our Whole Foods. But you guys, if you don't get anything from my Trader, Jaw, uh, Jaw, <laughs> my Trader Joe's uh, haul, you gotta get that. All right, I love this Meatless Farms meat. It's like a mince meat, and I'm telling you, it grinds up and uh, and just it just cooks up just like regular ground beef. Um, it, it is a little freaky because it, it just does exactly what ground beef does. And I make tacos out of it. And I make also, and I buy this, this, get this from Trader Joe's, it's so good. I just dumped the whole thing in there. And we make, oh my gosh, with some black beans, it is delicious. Also, I make meatloaf with this, and I'll use one um, sausage, vegan sausage link to, uh, to go with it, one sp spicy link, and I'll put the rest of this and make a, a meatloaf. And it is, I have worked and worked to, to, to perfect um, my mother's meatloaf. And that's the way I do it. One sausage link to, let me take you to the freezer because I can't remember the name of the sausage. So, it's beyond. I don't know if you see it, but it's beyond sausage. And I use the spicy one. Well, there you go, it's beyond spicy sausage. Anyway, I use one of those and then I use the other three to, um, to make a pasta or whatever. I, don't, I just, I thaw it all out and then I use three of them for a pasta and then one of them for the meatloaf. Also, I get this. This is their quinoa, black bean quinoa salad. I love to make this with um, just some low carb wheat tortillas and just eat this like as a burrito. I just put it in there and roll it up and it's a fast and easy lunch. In addition, this is a new one of my faves. This is a tamale. Oh my goodness, it has the masa flavor of a traditional tamale. You know, I'm from South Texas, so I know what a tamale tastes like. <laughs> and uh, it is delicious. This does not disappoint. So if you're one of my new vegan friends, this is a wonderful uh, option for lunch or dinner if you're going on your own for one night, you know, and you just don't feel like cooking. This is great. Okay, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. These are vegan maple donuts. Yes, they have donuts. <laughs> yes, they're vegan at Whole Foods. Another one of our favorites. Oops, let me just. Abe's uh, lemon poppy seed muffins. Love them. So good. Our go to bar is Go Macro Bars. We love the cherry and berries. And if you can't tell, we love, let me see if it'll focus, peanut butter and chocolate chip. So I got some of those. I want to try this um, apple cider. This spice apple cider from Whole Foods, all of this is. Then we've got ketchup, because as you do, you need to restock your ketchup. And I got five of those, because that's my go-to alternative milk. So I got five of those. So we love the Dave's bread. My husband loves the power seed, and I like the good seed. This is only 70 calories for a slice, so that's awesome. I also like this cocoa, the So Delicious um, yogurt. I put this with all my berries. So I'll have a scoop of this, I'll put some granola on there, and then some berries, maybe a banana, half a banana, and that's breakfast sometime, or a snack after I have a smoothie. Love, love, love this So Delicious vanilla. Bananas, because I love to make banana bread during this time. Ranchero beans. And then my friend Kim, she did a video, her and her husband, um, on they tasted all the gardenia soups and they said the beef and veggie and the chicken um, which is not it's chicken noodle <laughs> doesn't have any real meat in it but they said these two were the best and so I picked those up to try and I trust she has never led me wrong got some tomato sauce for chili and I also use that meatless farms mince um, Want to be meat <laughs> down there? I also use that to make chili. It makes the most authentic chili. 
These are our diced um, fire roasted tomatoes. Me and Superman make ghost pepper um, salsa, which I don't know if this is gonna be loaded up on YouTube before I, I load the one for ghost pepper salsa, but if, if this one, if I do the ghost pepper next, then I'll put a link in the corner somewhere in the corner of this video so you can click on it and you can get that recipe, but that's what we use, can roasted fire tomatoes, fire roasted tomatoes. A girl can't have a grocery haul without some apples. Um, my daughter has turned me on to such an awesome um, recipe using apples. And you pretty much dice up some apples, throw it in some coconut oil. I don't like a table, maybe two tablespoons to two apples diced up. You cook that a little bit. Then you go ahead and add just, you know, a couple of glugs of uh, maple syrup. I, the way I can see it, you can't do this wrong. She, she did it a couple of times and she didn't add the same amount either and they turned out delicious. Then you add a little bit of uh, maple syrup, how much ever, maybe, you know, a third of a cup. Then you cook that for, I don't know, two or three minutes, get it bubbling pretty good. Throw in some cinnamon if you want to, nutmeg, and then a couple of handfuls of oats, gluten-free oats if you try to do gluten-free, which I do or just plain old oats. Throw that in there, cook it another three or four minutes. Turn the heat down a little bit when you're cooking it that last three or four minutes uh, until everything kind of gets gooey. Take it off the heat and add, oh, I'd say half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of fresh vanilla. And oh my gosh, y'all, I'm not kidding you. It's like eating an apple pie. Now, if you want me to do a video on that and show you how to do it, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that for you. But it is easy breezy. Also, you can top that with vegan vanilla ice cream, which would be amazing. So delicious, makes a pretty good um, alternative ice cream. So does uh, Nomu, makes the best vanilla bean vegan ice cream. Not a moo, I'm sorry, not Nomu, not a moo. And I found it at Whole Foods. And I think it might be, maybe at Walmart, I don't know, but it is definitely at Whole Foods and Sprouts. So, or you can top that with uh, So Delicious whipped cream or the you can buy the Silk Heavy cream and make whipped cream yourself and top it. Nonetheless, however you wanna top it or not top it, that is bomb. Okay, so then we've got some uh, mushrooms and this goes on our vegan pizza. Let me come down here. I do a sourdough vegan pizza where you simply just put the sourdough and you put your cast iron skillet in the oven at about, I don't know, 375, 400. No, it's about 400 to 425. And I think I have a recipe for that on, on and vegan food on my playlist. But anyway, you just, you just scoop up like a cup, put your cast iron skillet in the oven on about 400, spray it with some canola oil or coconut oil and heat that up, bring it out about 10 minutes after it's heated up for about 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, y'all. Just scoop you about a cup of sourdough. You're just your regular old sourdough starter. Scoop it on there and spread it all around uh, with a wooden spoon up the sides and then put it back in. Bake it another uh, 10 minutes. When it comes out, you can slice uh, tomatoes on top of it if you want. Put it in there for that 10 minutes. Bring it out. Then put whatever toppings you like. We always do the... Um, the shiitake mushrooms along with this field roast sausage. This is the, um, it's a smoked apple sage. That's what I love. So we always do that and that's what we're having. It's usually Friday night, pizza night. <laughs> and uh, anyway, just onions and garlic and mushrooms. You can slice the tomatoes and bake it. Um, before you put your, then you bring it out. Before you put your toppings on, bring it out and then spoon this uh, sausage, mushroom, red onion, garlic, how whatever else you want to put in it. Mixture on top of those tomatoes. Drizzle it with a little olive oil. Put some mozzarella, vegan mozzarella cheese, which I have some in the ice box. But this is, this is they. I found this today. The Daya, the new Daya that's made with chickpeas. Oh my gosh, it melts so fantastic. And this is the cutting boards collection. This has mozzarella and cheddar. So I'm going to try that tonight with our pizza. So anyway, that's what we do with those mushrooms. Peanut butter. This video is going a little long. I've been giving you so many recipes along the way. Uh, there's the raspberries, blueberries, and then I don't know. Have y'all heard of these kiwi berries? I, I have not heard of them. And so I've seen them today and 
I grabbed them because I was like, wow, I'm always into trying something new. So, okay, we have some asparagus. Oh, I love to use lemon pepper um, seasoning on asparagus and put it in the oven and just heat it up. 425 olive oil and lemon pepper seasoning on it. It is so good. Of course, you, a girl's got to have her avocados. I have some broccoli. I, I also love to put those in the oven and cook them along with the cauliflower. I cook them about 425 for about 15 minutes. Then I bring them out and in a separate bowl, I add sriracha and maple syrup. Just, I don't know, maybe three or four squirts of uh, sriracha and maybe half a cup of maple syrup. And stir that all around and throw your broccoli and your cauliflower in that mixture get it soaked and then throw it back on your bacon sheet and cook it another 15 to 20 minutes and ah it is so good you could just dip it in hummus or just eat it plain or put it in a taco shell i don't know what else you could do anything with it it's wonderful of course we got some zucchini some spinach uh cilantro because we love cilantro and i also told you i tell you what kind of I have tried so many different plant-based um, sour cream and this by far is the best. It is amazing. So I bought two of them because we went through that one pretty quick. We love Mexican food in this household and so we use a lot of that. And you cannot go to Trader Joe's and not pick up some flowers. That's from Tr Trader Joe's. So that should have gone on the other end but I ran out of room. And then I, if you guys, if you love manly scents like I do, this laundry soap is with frankincense, mirth. It is so good and it works so well. It's 20 bucks, but it lasts because you just see the cap is so tiny. You don't need very much. It's concentrated. So this lasts me a good long while. So I, I'll have to pay attention to see how long, but a long time. So I just had to rebuy. And then I do like the recyclable paper towels. So that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope I gave you some good ideas. If you are especially new to being a vegan, I hope I gave you some ideas and plans and things, fun things you can eat and cheat a little bit with some donuts and Abe's. I believe all their Abe's are vegan, but you need to check. But I do know they're, they have pumpkin spice. They have this one. Anyway, they have tons. And that's my haul. So I better get this all put up and finish my day. All right, thanks. thank y'all for stopping by Simple Living. And I'll put the price in the corner where um, how much I spent at Trader Joe's for this small amount here, plus three sets of flowers, and then this whole counter, plus some from Whole Foods. And I'll put the amounts that I spent at each. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours
sky so blue And you're taking me home.